Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. So, there's a lot of people who have different drug crimes, and some of them are possession only, others are much more serious. And I'm talking about the possession only ones now. Um, because there are certain places in the U.S. that you can basically get out of this for immigration purposes and proceed forward with your immigration petitions, um, but it's a little bit limited, okay? It's called the Federal First Offenders Act. And essentially, it's applicable if you happen to be on the Ninth Circuit or in the Ninth Circuit of the U.S., um, and generally, it's not applicable elsewhere. And if you take the western part of the U.S., just Washington, Oregon, California, just slice it all down, that's the Ninth Circuit. And the bottom line of what it says, and, oh, and there's some other requirements as well, but that's the gist of it. The bottom line is that if you have a conviction for possession, and another caveat, if you have a, a possession of marijuana under 30 grams, this doesn't apply to you because there's an immigration waiver for that. So essentially, it's either more than 30 grams, in which case it's probably not possession only, um, or it's not marijuana, which is more likely the case. Um, if you have one possession crime, you can file to have that expunged, okay? Um, and I know I just made a video recently where I said expungements have no uh, effect in immigration law, minus some narrow exceptions. Well, here's the narrow exception. Um, if you happen to be living in the Ninth Circuit in the proper time period and get a possession of, of a drug crime that's not marijuana um, over 30 grams, then and you, you expunge it, then uh, the Federal First Offenders Act kicks in and you are not then inadmissible based on that possession crime. You don't even have to do a waiver. Uh, it's actually a very nice uh, piece of law, but it's quite narrow and you need to make sure you uh, you know qualify for it. And, you know, what happens a lot of times is people have more than one possession crime or they have a possession crime and some other kind of crime. And there's ways of dealing with that. But this just gives you the overview of what a uh, the Federal First Offenders Act is for possession of drug crime. Okay.